In this video, we learn about the internet connections. How do you connect to your ethernet or how do you connect to your Wi-Fi area itself? So let us see that one by one. Now, if you see here on the right hand side bottom corner, there's a Wi-Fi symbol given here. So if I click on this place, I can see all the available networks in this area. So if you see there's a tutorials point which is secured and if you see there's a one developers which is secured. So these are the different Wi-Fi available nearby. So if you see for tutorials point there are three signs given here, three white colors and one is for the empty color. That means the network of tutorials point is greater than one developers and they both are secured. That means they are password protected. If you go down there's an eyeball that is baton which is open that is not a password protected so you can directly connect to that okay so if you just click on this place as one developers which is secured if i click on this place it says connect automatically i have set a stick mark so whenever you find this wi-fi it will automatically connect so i'll just click on this connect part if you know the password if you know the security password here you can enter and then you can click on next but I do not have the password, so I don't. I cannot connect to this place itself. I have the password which is already logged in for tutorials point, which I've already entered. So only thing is I can just click on this place and I can see as connect automatically, click on this connect part. So since I have existingly used this Wi-Fi here, so it get automatically connected. It will not ask me for the password. So if, if you're not logged in, if you're logging for the first time, you have to enter the password itself. So once you have connected to that network, the, the, you will get as connected comma secured and here you will get as connected symbol also, right? That is one method. So I'll just click on this place again and uh, yeah, I'll just click on this place and using mouse, yeah. And now I can click on this place and as I can disconnect. If I want to disconnect, I can just disconnect. And if you see the sign, it says the Wi-Fi nearby is available, but nothing is connected here. That is one method. Let us see next method. If you want to connect to your Wi-Fi, how do you do that? I'll just go to this Windows settings part. And in the settings, if you see, I have this network and internet. There's Wi-Fi, airplane mode and VPN. I'll click on this place. Now, if you see the status is showing as not connected, it is not yet connected here. Now, if I click on this place as Wi-Fi, it says Wi-Fi is on, it is available. And if I say show available networks, if I click on this place on the right hand side, all the available Wi-Fi network will be visible. So if I click on this tutorials point, click on this place, it will not ask me the password because already I have logged in one time. It will not ask me for the password. If I'm logging for first time for any network and if it is secured, it will ask me a password. If it is open, it will not ask me a password. It will directly connect. This I have already logged in. So no password will be asked. I'll click on this connect part and it is connected here. Now, if I go back to this place, if I say status, and if you see it is connected, you are connected to internet that is using a Wi-Fi for tutorials point two. That's the name given here. Same way, if you want to connect to the ethernet, okay, ethernet, that means you have a connection using your modem and all that LAN connection you can use and put in your PC. Now, if I, if I use this LAN connection, I'll just connect to my laptop here. I'll just insert the connection here. Now, sometimes it will not ask for the password if it is not password protected. If it, it will ask you for the password, if it is password protected. Now I've just connected to this place. And if you see the sign has changed this person, this place, that means it's a LAN connection. And if you see the small sign is about the LAN, I'll click on this place now. And if you see tutorials point two, and it is connected, this symbol is for Wi-Fi, and this symbol is for LAN connection connected to your PC itself. And it will be working here. Let us see now. If I go back to this status, it says you are connected to internet, but not via Wi-Fi, you're connected via ethernet, right? And if you say show available networks, so if I click on this place, again, it will show me all the available networks in this place itself. So remember not to go to the long cut method. You can just simply click on this place and you can see all the available networks using your Wi-Fi or your ethernet place itself. So I'll just click on this place. I'll click on this close part. So I hope you're able to understand different things by which you can connect to your internet, your Wi-Fi and your Ethernet. That's all for this video.